She hasn't played since Wimbledon of last year. I know Serena hopes to be back. Her target, at least the French Open, this coming spring. What if the layoff extends beyond that? How difficult? She's 29 years old now for Serena to come back. It's a wonderful thing. It's a challenging thing sometimes, you know. As editors, when we sit with the footage all day, every day, for months on months, we, we kind of start to feel ownership of the material. Sometimes it becomes difficult for a director to come in and say to you, this doesn't work, or I want this, and I miss that. And you say to yourself, and sometimes you'll say to them, well, I will. <laughs> You know, that shit didn't work. That's why I didn't put it in, you know. But, you know, you, sometimes you have to sort of pull back and say, okay, uh, let me go back and rethink this. Let me look at it in a new way. And that's the wonderful thing about filmmaking. Sometimes it just forces you to reevaluate material that you kind of push to the side. One day, as my luck would have it, I, sh I hit a blood vessel and it gave me, like, this massive lump on my stomach that wouldn't go away. And it got bigger and bigger and it got really, really painful. Did you take your antibiotic? Oh, no, I didn't take my antibiotic. They had to, like, surgically remove it, and then they have to put a tube in me to keep draining it. And I had that drain in me for 10 days, and day 10, I'd had enough. Venus and Serena had, like, 800 hours in all video, and they shot and shot and shot. And uh, as we were sh putting the sequences together, they had shot all this karaoke with Serena. You know, you can see it's only a little, little bit here, but they had shot, like, six hours of this, this stuff. And my first reaction as an editor was to say to Mike and, and Michelle, the producers, directors, I said, ladies, this is never gonna get in the cut. This stuff is terrible. I will, I will never cut this. This will not get in the film. And I had assembled the whole film with my assistant and uh, we screened a few times and got you know some real critical feedback and one day we're in the editing room and Mike and Michelle say, Sam, we really, we love that karaoke stuff. You have to do something with it. And I kept saying, ladies, no, no. And then I, I had to finally acquiesce and say, okay. So I cut a little five minute sequence, right? And they just loved it. They just loved it. And I said, oh my God, no. And then I said, well, I went back to the interviews they had done with Serena and I found her, you know, where she talked about the karaoke and then I selected some bites and I cut it in and I showed it to a three and a half minute sequence and they still loved it. And I said, my response was, when we show this to an audience, they're gonna, they're gonna think it's so terrible. You won't hear, you won't hear a peep. We, it'll really force me to take it out. So we got it down to this length and we did a preview screening down at the Tribeca screening room with a group of people, like 15, 20 people. And the same reaction happened here. <laughs> people laughed. Amazing grace, how sweet, how sweet. <laughs> you know, as filmmakers, as editors, you can be very sometimes stubborn about saying something won't work. You know, it won't work, it won't work, I won't do it. Now, when I, was, when I was editing film, it was easy to say, I won't do it because it would be hard to go recut it because you'd have to make dupes if you wanted to hold on to your old cut. Now, with the nonlinear technology, you can't really say, I won't do it. Because <laughs> all you could do is make a new version and have a new cut, make a new cut. So it just goes to prove that even an editor can be wrong. <laughs> You can see her drive through apparent size when balls fly, don't be surprised when she comes to the arena.